Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and we are back in Pleasant View about to do our last family redesign. This time we are going to be working with Coral and Herb and doing the same thing we did with the Burbs, which is choose a random multiplier of their budget and choosing a random house. Now I did actually do the math and I can't believe I didn't pay attention but even if they get the highest multiplier which is five they can't get into this Victorian up here that I do absolutely love so I am taking that one out of the equation and so we'll start here with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have eleven lots to choose from let's find out what we're working with and here's our wheel, so let's go ahead and spin it for our multiplier, which is two times, two and a half. Okay. All right. Same crappy budget. And lot five. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We can work with this, absolutely. 14,000 before before I strip it? Yeah, I can do this. And at 20,900, it puts us right around 50,000. We got this. Now I know I have played this in the past. I think that this house is actually kind of a lot of bang for the buck, so I think it's actually pretty perfect for Coral and Herb. So it does have two uh, pretty decent sized bedrooms. One is four by five. The other is just shy of four by five. They do have what looks to be here as something is meant to be a chimney and a centrally located chimney. Don't know if I'm going to do that, but, and one really good sized bathroom. So I'd actually prefer to do two smaller bathrooms because Sim happiness is largely, largely hinged on how many bathrooms they have. So let's strip it to our tabula rasa and I'll be right back. Now since this is not on a foundation, obviously I can't do anything as far as a basement, but I might consider doing something with an attic because there is an option to do that right here and we'll just look at we'll kind of think things through now this was a largely open floor plan and that I like about it but it was position strange the <laughs> kitchen was over here one bedroom was here one was here and so we're going to make sure everything is, con or I think one was over here. It was awkward. It was just awkward. Not the way a space planner would do this. Okay, and what I am going to do is create two identically sized rooms, which are just a half a tile short of 20. And then over here, I will have one bathroom. And right here, I will have a powder room. And this will be the kitchen area over here with room out to the yard. And this way, they have somewhat of a little cozy entrance into their private areas, which sounded bad, sorry about that and then the rest would be an open concept. So that's what I'm working with. Okay, so my textures are as follows. I really drew inspiration from this Life Stories texture right here. Uh, that's actually called the Neapolitan. It's a lot like the tiny tiles that come with kitchens and baths, but I decided that Coral was the kind of grandma that when Lilith comes and whines to her about her unfair life, the first thing Coral would do would be getting out some ice cream and sitting down and talking it over. She was a very supportive mother. She wasn't really equipped to be a mother to Mary Sue when she got her, so 
this is her opportunity to redeem herself that's my cat Daisy yes we know we everybody hears you Daisy uh, one thing if you play this through the secret to happiness in Pleasant View actually hinges on coral and herb if you play them well it all comes out in the wash I promise you but yeah let's go ahead and place our doors now so I actually don't even need to use move objects on to put doors on like this I don't believe I've never had to before let's I'm just gonna use a basic white door and I actually want my move objects off okay let's move objects off all right door right there and door right there see you don't even need to have them activated and this will be the powder room right there and right there will be the bathroom that they use and right now my budget is just shy of 12,000 and I do have 52,250 to work with so I'm gonna be able to really deck this little house out for them so because of how a Sims tub has to sit if you're going to make the most of your space, meaning that the toilet has, to, this has to be facing a wall and the toilet has to be opposite of the shower itself, you enter and look right at the toilet, which is a little awkward. Otherwise, they would enter through the kitchen and I would put this over here. The, this door over here, it's a six of one, half dozen of the other, but that's how I'm doing it. Now, again, kind of keeping with that whole chocolatey fantasy that we've got going here is I'm using the romantic kitchen counter. They're a little bit country, not overly so. One thing you want to keep in mind when you are designing a kitchen is the concept of the work triangle and the work triangle will consist of three points your refrigerator your stove and your sink and we are actually going to create this sink on a tiny little island right here as a matter of fact we can't do that I can do it in Sims 2 or Sims 4 sorry I sometimes forget which game I'm playing cannot put a sink on this you can't put a dishwasher in it either but you can in Sims 4 so now that that crisis is averted we do want to go ahead and put in all of our appliances we've got a dishwasher I know that there is an associated trash compactor there we go in brown so we've got that whole very kind of looks a little bit like a Sunday and ooh, I have those aimed the wrong direction there we go and I'm actually going to set my quarter tile placement on that way I can get this a little closer okay using the toggle F and now I will get them just a tiny bit closer there's plenty of space that way I have a little bit of an eating space in the kitchen they're only gonna have room for two people to eat they don't need more so to make sure I've got it exactly where I want it I want to move it to from the wall and also the same with this one too from the wall oh, that didn't work out right oh, it's because I wasn't at the right wall okay there we go and they will tuck in just the way they are supposed to and that gives us an opportunity to walk around here and here should work okay so I changed my mind about the second bedroom. I'm actually going to make it a bit moodier because not completely moody like a goth house, but 
a little bit moodier because if they're going to have a house guest, it's going to be Lilith because she's going to run away from home and go to grandma and grandpa's and just cry it out there. So we're going to just kind of keep this with her in mind. Now, when it comes to choosing decking out a, a room, a lot of people are going to play the easy route and deck out the things that clearly go together. But a design technique is to not do that, not choose things that are meant to matchy match. Instead, rather say, okay, we'd like the woods to be relatively close in shade, but they don't have to be exact, but that gives it a bit more of dimension as design. And also you're choosing a few things that might not necessarily say, hey, let's do this. So let's put this back on and now I need to have my move objects back on again. All right. So I'd like them a little close there. Oh, and there's a door right out to the outdoors. I hadn't paid attention to that. I don't want that there. I'm going to delete that. All right. And also we're going to put in a dresser. And of course the dresser that naturally goes with the Bon Voyage bed is the Bon Voyage dresser, but we want something a little different. And I will choose this Art Nouveau smaller wardrobe. Now as wardrobes go, that's actually pretty big, but it's the smaller of the two if you compare it to this, but it still takes up the exact same amount of space. So it's not really that big of a deal. Do I want that? Maybe not. I'll figure it out. So instead of end tables, I'm going to use these IKEA very small dressers and I will use those as dressers and then what I'm going to do is use a small dining table and create a little writing area right here because I feel like Coral might like to write a book. Okay, and for what I pretty much think of as Lilith's bedroom. We went for the Central Asian theme. Not 100%. This is the witch's bed that comes with apartment life and some purples and golds all working with the covers and the canopy. And over here we have the room for her, Coral and Herb. This is where Coral will write. Yes, it is a wedding celebration table, but I like it and why not? It seems to me that Coral is probably the kind that would write romance novels. I'm just saying. Now, unfortunately, even with move objects on and the quarter tile, your rugs only snap to those. And if you use the bull props, uh, snap objects to grid false, they get a graphical error. Okay, so this is it. We've got our little entertainment area over here, conversation area here, logic here, easel here that Lilith can use when she comes to spend the night. I mean, not that she can, but you know, that's what we like to think. Uh, their bedroom and we will wait for Mr. Humble to bring them their computer so I don't have to sp uh, spend on it. And currently sitting at 51,114, so just a little over a thousand to go. We don't want to spend it all down because they have bills and not good at earning money just yet. Oh, but one thing we do want to do before I finish this. They are not good at earning money, but they can become good at earning money. And I like to give them just a little bit of a fishing pond. That's free when you do it when they're not on the lot. And we will put just a few things in it, not that. Gardening, florals, couple reeds, make it pretty full. that. All 
right. And that way we have a little bit of landscaping, didn't cost a lot, and still just shy of $1,000 of our budget. And that little pond right there is a source of fun and finance. Now let's see what they think. Okay, so let's give them the budget that they are supposed to have, which is 52250 So... Pull up my cheat cons cheat console. Uh, hello. Okay, cheat console. Family funds, oldie, fifty-two to fifty. Make sure it took, and it did. And let's go ahead and buy it. All right, and here is our sweet couple. They're very romantic with each other. And while I was trying to do something, Herb went into aspiration failure and we love that for him. It's okay. The doctor will fix you. Cluck like a chicken for all you're worth. All right. Bye, Doc. And they're in love. <laughs> We'll fix it. So why don't you cuddle with her, Miss? There we go. And Rob just left us our computer that we need. Oh my gosh, they're so cute together. I do actually really love this couple. And now they've got a cute little house. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.